Hello Cancer, this is Debs and this is your reading for mid-December 2023. Cancer, it's fantastic to be back with you. I hope you guys are well. I hope that you are getting to the point where you are thinking about putting your feet up. <laughs> is what I want to say. Now, Cancer, on that train of thought, um, in a vision, I actually saw a woman who had been very carefully, painstakingly climbing up this massive hill. It was very rocky. There were parts that she had to maneuver around, large rocks. And she got to the top of this mountain. She took her backpack off she sat on this rock on the top, overlooking this vista. And she said to herself, I've made it. I can now sit here and look at this incredible view. So Cancer, I don't know whether or not you've made a very big decision. You could have transitioned recently. You're now taking a breather. It's as if I have spent the last few months sorting out issues I'm hearing signing papers, <laughs> um, making very serious decisions, shifting a load of things around. And again, I don't know what that means, but you feel as if you've kind of made it, at least for now. And you're simply enjoying the view. You may be making plans for 2024, in which case you're making plans, but you're not actioning them until, say, January or February. 2024. So Cancer, this could be a very calm reading. Let's keep our fingers crossed, right? <laughs> Let's get into this. Here we go. The deck that I'm using is the Marchetti deck. If this resonates, of course, you can book a reading with me. Everything is down below. All the decks I use are there too. And if you want to join the channel, the link is there as well. Okay. I feel as if you sort of conquered something, Cancer. You feel very pleased with yourself. You feel proud of yourself because it's been a bit of a slog. <laughs> it's been a bit uphill, but you've achieved something and you feel as if you deserve to have a little bit of R&R &R time now. That's what I feel. A little bit of R&R &R time. I'm suddenly feeling a bit breathless. You may feel as if Oh, you know, you can sit down and catch your breath. Hmm. Okay, guys. I don't know why my left hand and my left arm feel incredibly light, as if they would float up to the sky, whereas my right hand feels incredibly heavy. I don't know, Cancer, whether or not you have ended a relationship. It could have been a serious relationship. It could have been divorce. Because the left hand is where you wear a wedding ring, right? I don't know. You, you may have just let go of something. Hmm. Okay, guys. Oh, Ten of Pentacles. Cancer, why do I feel as if you're single but doing quite well? Or you could have got divorced and this is divorce money coming in. I definitely feel that you're single. I don't know why. Let's 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 carry on. Yeah, wow. Nine of Pentacles, you are single and sitting in the Ten of Pentacles. Whoa, Cancer. So you may have got divorced. Now, I guess if you have got divorced and you're sitting in a little bit of money here, quite a lot of money, actually, I could be connecting with a female. In the past, the sun. Something happened in the past that made you very happy. Or you could have become enlightened about something or someone. You could have connected with a Leo or you could have actually moved. The sun can be travel. Yeah, magician. Wow, look at all this positive energy, Cancer. Whatever this is for you, you've worked incredibly hard. I think you've coped with a great deal. 
you're now in a place where you're kind of sitting on top of that mountain looking at the view, maybe looking at what you've created or what you've managed to achieve. Could be symbolic. Very powerful manifestation, Cancer. Oh, it gets better. Ace of coins. Now, for some of you, you have literally moved and uprooted. You could be thinking about the fact that you've moved into a beautiful property. You could be putting money into a property, adding an extension, something like that. Because the Ace of Pentacles is uprooting and moving, but why do I feel as if you've already done it? Because the sun is global travel in the past. So I think you've already achieved something pretty major. You're feeling as if finally you can rest, you can relax, you got over the hurdles, you've moved the obstacles and you're on a brand new path. In the immediate future, Cancer, the fall, you may be ready to take a little bit of a risk with something or someone. You could be ready to take a risk with an Aries, I don't know. Or it could be that you know you're on a brand new path, you don't quite know what the future holds, but you feel very content in the fact that your finances are stable and somehow you've got yourself grounded. You feel secure somehow. As a single person, Nine of Pentacles. In your fears, yeah, Cancer is interesting, the tower, fearing that somehow it's all going to disintegrate, that you're going to lose this beautiful situation that you find yourself in. It's almost the energy of, I shouldn't be this happy. I shouldn't feel this stable. This is unusual for me. I didn't expect to be in this place feeling I'm hearing as if everything's come true. You may be questioning it quietly. But I feel, Cancer, you're only worried it's all going to go under because you've conquered so much. You've been through so much. There's a very sharp contrast between the past and where you are now. And sometimes you may wake up and feel as if you're living in a little bit of a fantasy, but Cancer, you're not. This, this is what you have built for yourself, or this is what you've achieved. So enjoy it. Revel in it. I'm hearing the word ambrosia. Now, ambrosia was food of the gods, apparently. So maybe you're connected to your higher self, your spirituality, for some of you, you may even run spiritual businesses, that sort of thing. I'm hearing Reiki as well. So Cancer, you may feel that this is simply too good to be true. When is it all going to go under again? When am I going to lose everything? Cancer, you're not. I feel as if the last year has been a bit of a blur. You may have worked very hard. You may feel as if one day just went into the other and one week just went into the other and... Before you know it, the year has ended, but you're in a very different place than you were this time last year. That's what I want to say. You're just fearing it's not going to last with a tower. In the environment, the star. In the environment is someone, Cancer, that sees you sitting in a wish come true. Or this is someone, Cancer, who may want to heal the connection with you. Could be someone with Aquarius in their chart. In your hopes. Yeah, Cancer, I think you're hoping to pull back and just consider whatever this is before you take action. Because you're on a new path and you may feel that mending a situation with someone might be risky for some reason. It's as if you don't know if you trust this. And I think it's also cancer because you're in such a lovely, stable, relaxed place in your life, just you. So why would you want to change anything at this point of time? 
page of wands. You could be communicating with somebody in the future. Could be a younger fire sign. We'll see. Clarification, Ace of Wands. Yes, Seven of Pentacles. Cancer, you are on a brand new path. You've been looking at the past. You've been thinking about what you've been through, what you've managed, what you've achieved. I'm hearing again, very proud of yourself. I think you should be. Because you made a serious decision in the past and it worked in your favour. What you're looking at is the opportunity of mending a situation with someone. There's a lot of chemistry you feel with this person. But you're looking back at the past and looking at everything you put into the situation, which obviously didn't work out before. So what you're thinking about is why would it work out this time? And there's also a sense with a fool that this could be risky. Do I really want to delve into this again? We'll see. Whoever is sat in the energy of the star. Okay. Guys, I'm sorry. We got the seven of swords. Whoever this person is, Cancer, and I hate to say this, they don't have very good intentions. They don't have the right intentions. Queen of Wands. They're either going to try and draw you into a third party situation, Cancer, or they are simply very attracted to you and they just can't help themselves. They could be with a Queen of Wands or they could see you as a Queen of Wands. But I don't like the Seven of Swords, guys. Underneath the deck, Six of Cups. You may be feeling a bit nostalgic at this time. If you've gone through a big transition, you could be unearthing things that you haven't seen for a long time. Opening boxes. I don't know why I'm hearing that. You may be thinking about your childhood, good or bad. How Christmases were back then is what I'm hearing. You could be thinking about children. Or you're firmly just sat in nostalgia. What you're thinking about is the chariot. That's your beautiful Cancerian energy. You've left the past behind. You've moved away from the past. With a six of coins, Cancer, you could have given to a situation in the past that didn't work out. You left this person behind and I don't think there's been any communication for quite a while with the High Priestess. So Cancer, this person's coming back to you. They want to revisit the past. I'm hearing they want to explain a lot to you, but you're nervous and you've got every right to be because they seem to be connected to a Queen of Wands and they're sitting in the Seven of Swords. So be very careful, Cancer, okay? To be honest with you guys, um, I think you may well decide to message this person a little bit. But whatever you're going to be finding out, it's going to cause you to pull back and to continue to sit in the Ten of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles. You're really happy in your life right now. And you may be coming to the understanding that you prefer to stay that way, at least for this period of time. So, guys, let's get into this and see what comes through. Here we go, guys. Archangel Michael, what is the energy of the Ten of Pentacles and the Nine of Coins? Four of Wands. Cancer, you could have recently moved house. That's a property. Or you could have recently started a business. This is you nesting. <laughs> we got a little bird there in a bird's nest. And this bird is nesting tending her eggs but I feel this is you on your own and I have to say cancer pretty happy on your own pretty happy three of cups I don't think this is you considering a reunion with someone 
I actually think this could be you going to a party or getting excited about having friends round. Yes, death card. You've gone through a major transition and this is you celebrating. This is you celebrating. With the energy of the page of coins, you could have just signed a lucrative contract. It could be for a property. It could be this is you treating your children or your child. Splashing out a little bit, maybe. You've done it. You feel as if you've done it somehow. You've got there. Yes, you've moved yourself to calmer waters and you're in a beautiful, peaceful, happy place. So my lovely Cancerians, we'll see where this goes. You've definitely got somebody trying to get back into your life. I don't know why I put it like that. It could be somebody you pushed away before. They haven't changed, Cancer, is what I'm hearing. They haven't changed. They may act as if they have, but they have not. In the past with the sun, you became enlightened about something. You could have become enlightened about a Leo or you could have become enlightened that somebody that you were involved with was seeing a Leo woman and it might have been a shock. Whatever you found out, you decided to shift your life in a new direction. You could literally have moved with the sun, moved location. You were manifesting a new life for yourself. So what happened in the past with the sun? Okay, Hierophant, wow. You could have become enlightened about a Taurian, or you could have realised that a Taurian would make you happy. Or with the Sun and the Hierophant, you became enlightened that someone was still married. I don't know why I said still married. Someone was still married. Hermit, could have been a Virgo. A Virgo, maybe. I think Cancer, you stood up for yourself. Yes, wow, Queen of Swords. You could have found out that someone was married to an Aquarius Libra Gemini or a fire sign. Or you spoke your truth and you detached from someone in the past. After that time, you simply manifested your happiness. That's what I'm feeling, yeah? You decided to build your own foundation. You decided to... I'm hearing sort everything out so you felt more stable. You managed to sort everything out so you felt more stable. And you put up strong defences with the energy of the Seven of Wands. It's as if, no, I don't want to talk to you anymore. I'm happy. I'm leaving the past behind. I'm moving on. I'm moving on. Yes, you put up strong defences because with the energy of the lovers, Gemini energy you didn't want to get involved with this person because I don't think they were single cancer you became enlightened that you needed to sit in this beautiful spiritual energy keep the faith hold yourself up with the hermit and cut communication you push someone away simply because you wanted to maintain your happiness so here we have you sitting thinking about the Ace of Pentacles. Now you could simply be sitting thinking about the fact that you've changed your life, you've uprooted, you've moved, you're financially stable, whatever this is for you. I feel as if you're not socialising a great deal right now. Yes, you're keeping to yourself with the energy of the moon. Again, you're a little bit nervous Something's going to disrupt your peace and calm. You may be nervous with a five of coins of financial loss. Or you could be fearing that if you gave someone a second chance, it could for some reason affect your financial stability. And it could cause you conflict. Okay, Cancer, this is pretty straight up. What you've made the decision to do, 
is to say no to someone who wants to heal the connection with you because it's basically going to be too risky and you are on a brand new path. They may not like it, Cancer, but you're putting up boundaries. Because you somehow know that getting involved with this person will cause you financial loss. They might leave you out in the cold and they will bring chaos and conflict to your life. I mean, straight up. So that's what I think you're going to do. So Archangel Michael, when do we have the full and the energy of the star card for my lovely Cancerians? Thank you, Michael. February 14th is what I'm hearing. Oh, somebody may be reaching out to you for Valentine's or this Aquarius may have a birthday on the 4th of Feb. I think the 14th of Feb is an Aquarian birthday. What is your energy, Cancer? Yeah, okay. It's either too risky because you know that a Leo woman is still in this person's life or you could have Leo in your chart, Cancer, and you are simply holding back. You think this is way too risky for you to get involved in again. Yes, you've already closed out this chapter. You've already closed out this chapter, Cancer. And you're telling this person just that. I'm sorry, but this is done. I don't understand why you're coming back to me. Yeah. Wow. What are you saying to this person? You may want to question them about a Sagittarian. Or you could say to this person, look, I'm in a beautiful temperate place. I've sorted out my life. I'm very happy. And I don't want to risk disrupting my life again is what I'm hearing this person obviously caused you problems in the past yeah cancer you are sat as a single person in the queen of coins nine of coins ten of pentacles doing very well thank you very much due to your hard work and you are chilling you're locking the windows, you're locking the doors, you're curling up with your cat or your dog or your kids if you're a single mom and you are very happy by yourself. I'm hearing, thank you very much. I'm very happy by myself. You're standing up for yourself, Cancer. You're not going to allow this person, I'm hearing the word, to infiltrate your life. Oh, this is really creepy. I'm seeing someone with long almost like a horror movie, with long dark fingers trying to open a window, but they can't do it, they can't get in. They can't get in. Oh, that was creepy. I'm hearing stick man. Oh God, was it wicker man? I don't know. I don't know. Um, hmm. You may feel as if this person wants to get into your house. Oh, didn't like that. Okay, guys, sorry, just ignore that because this is a beautiful reading for you. But mm, didn't like that vision. Can say you are firm in your belief that you're better off by yourself. Yeah, you're sitting in the energy of the Empress, the Queen of Coins, the Nine of Coins and the Ten of Coins. You are super happy building your life, working very hard, whatever you do for a living. You've learned a lot of lessons. I could be connecting with a slightly older Cancerian here. The Empress is normally over 40, but you're super happy by yourself. Yeah. Yes, you've got yourself in balance. You've got your life organised. You're nice and calm. Now, for some of you, this is someone coming back that you even divorced in the past. They may have regretted divorcing you, but they're sitting in the Seven of Swords and the Queen of Wands. So, Cancer, this is not you, right? They may still find you very attractive if this is you. There may have been a lot of chemistry that you two shared. But with the Queen of Wands, I firmly believe, Cancer, that this is a woman that they are seeing, married to, connected to. But they somehow want to mend the situation with you. They're sitting in the Seven of Swords. This is somebody who may want a sort of third party situation to develop between the two of you. They may see you as a star. 
They could be starstruck. <laughs> I don't know, Cancer. <laughs> what is this person's energy? Yes, Cancer, they're sitting in the Seven of Cups. They're a little bit confused as to... I'm hearing how you've done so well. Because you are sitting in financial abundance. I don't know whether or not this person wants a piece of the pie. The Seven of Cups can sometimes be fantasy, fantasizing about healing the situation with you because somehow it would be to their benefit. Yeah. Cancer, I'm sorry. They're thinking about money. Money, 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 right? They're confused as to how you have done so well financially. And they somehow want back in. I'm hearing over the wall and in through the back door. Okay, Cancer, make sure you lock your house. If this person was angry about the fact that you ended things with them in the past, they may even want to steal from you. And guys, I don't want you to sit there panicking, but just be vigilant. Make sure you never leave your house unlocked. If you're, I don't know why I'm hearing this, if you're at the top of the house, then make sure you lock everything on the ground floor. So you could be at the top of your house, I don't know, um resting or working or you could be involved in a project make sure that you lock everything on the ground floor what is this person hoping to achieve by contacting cancer okay you left them out in the cold they didn't like it they didn't like it. They also feel that you've lost interest. This is somebody who could be sat in ego. Wow, cards are flying. Queen of Cups. Yeah, Cancer, they're thinking about you. Oh, wow. Okay, we've got three cards that fell on my lap. Four of Coins. Cancer, this is somebody who never emotionally let you go. They could also be struggling financially. They're clutching hold of four pentacles, whereas you seem to be sat in 19, right? Ten of pentacles and the nine of pentacles. Um, they feel very burdened. They may not be going through a very good time in their life. They could have a lot of debt to clear. They may not be getting on with a queen of wands. And they seem to want victory and success with you. They want victory and success with you, but five of swords. Good God, who is this person? Seriously, seven of swords, five of swords. You cannot trust this person, Cancer. I'm hearing the word deadbolt. Okay, maybe you've got a deadbolt on your door. I don't know. Um... Cancer, what is your energy towards this person? Just to check. Yeah, two of swords. You, are, you do not want to talk to this person ever again. It's like, no way am I going back there again. Good. I think you've done the right thing. What is the energy between these two? Wow, the devil. Whew. Cancer, this person may be obsessed with you. But you see this person as being completely toxic. So it's done. So my lovely Cancerians, you do not have to worry at all, but be vigilant. Make sure everything is locked. Don't leave anything by chance and don't do anything risky. Okay? This person is trying to get back into your life. They may want to hand out. They may simply want to pull you into an affair situation. They may not be getting on with a queen of wands and they still have a lot of attraction for you. The guidance from the divine cancer is shut this person out of your life completely and for good. And for good. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Now. 
with the Page of Wands, Cancer, you may be messaging someone in the future. Ten of Cups. Or you could be sitting as a single parent with your child in the Ten of Cups, just you. What are you thinking about in the future, Cancer? Knight of Coins. You could be simply working hard to bring in money. You could be literally focused on your career. It could be with a Knight of Coins you're waiting for a payout. It could be with a Knight of Coins that you are meeting a younger Earth sign that you're very attracted to. Mm. Wow, this is love. Two of Cups. Cancer, you may be falling for a younger Earth sign. I'm hearing again. You may be falling in love again. Again, with a younger earth sign. You may have known this guy in the past. Who is this guy? Yeah, wow. Strong earth sign energy. Could be a Virgo, Taurus or Capricorn. Who is this guy? Hmm. Eight of Wands. Somebody who's very attracted to you. You could be passionately messaging this guy. What's his energy? Eight of Cups. Okay, he may live at a distance from you and you could be arranging to meet up. It could be January time. Or he's left a situation, he's taken charge, he's been working on his finances and he wants to make it work with you. This is feeling lighter, Cancer. This is feeling lighter. Yes, Wheel of Destiny, you were meant to meet this guy. And it could well be that this is going to develop into a proper relationship. You two are going to be moving forward into a new cycle. Yes, because you've cut away from the past. Because you've, I think, at this point, you would have decided to have no more communication with this person sat in the Seven of Swords. That's done. Which means that you can concentrate on this new connection. How is this guy feeling about you? Oh, love. There's love. There could be an apology. He may say, I'm sorry I took my time. Or I'm sorry that you had to wait for me to end another situation. He could have a child with someone else. But this is someone who wants to build a life with you. Yeah, you're very attracted to this guy. This is the same guy, Cancer. This is someone taking action on you, wanting a relationship. He's walked away from other options or walked away from someone else. And he wants to be with you. Passionate messages about travelling to see you. This is going to be your person, Cancer. How do you feel? Two of coins. You're going to sit on the fence a little bit. I think it's just fear of not wanting to move too fast too soon. You could have done that in the past and got burnt, right? I don't know. I feel you can trust this guy. Who is this guy? Anything else? Okay. Cancer, he's coming through as three kings rolled into one. He's financially stable. He's very attractive and he has a lot of love for you. I mean, what more do you want? I mean, this guy is turning into your emperor. And Cancer, you're already sat in the energy of the empress. This could be your true divine twin that you are deciding to develop a connection with in the 3D. How does he feel about you? He's in love. Knight of Cups, he's in love. And I don't think he's going to be shy in telling you. He could wear his heart on his sleeve. He could be a bit stubborn sometimes, <laughs> is what I'm hearing. But Cancer, I think this is your guy. And with the High Priestess, you know it. This is going to be an equal give and take relationship. I think you're going to move forward with this guy. And this is somebody you knew in the past. So my beautiful Cancerians, 
I'm going to leave the reading there. It's been a pretty intense reading. Steer clear of this other guy. He's up to no good. But this guy is the one that you should put effort in with. He's your guy. Beautiful. So, my gorgeous Cancerians, I'm leaving it there. Take care of you. Sending love and light your way. And I will be back before you know it with your next set of readings. See you then. Bye now.